it's Sue here, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing all the, well not all, sorry. I'm going to be reviewing some of the new collections that a lot of brands are coming up. Now like I said, there are definitely products that I haven't been able to cover in this video. So if you guys want to see like part 2, definitely let me know. Either write in the comments or like in this video, I don't know, let me know one way or another. But yeah, let's get started with this video. Ahora. First I have this Espoir Pro Taylor B Glow Pusher. So if you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the Espoir Pro Taylor B Glow Foundation. This is the original one. And they just released a cushion version. About time, don't you think? Now, I have been trying this out indeed. And just to give you guys kind of like a first impression, uh, I don't love it as much as I love the foundation. I feel like I love how the foundation applies. Especially since I go in with a flat foundation brush. It seems to give me a bit more coverage. And it doesn't emphasize my dead skin cells as much but definitely for convenience this is the bomb and like the B glow foundation the cushion does the formula it just looks amazing on your skin now of course if you have oily skin no 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 hunty uh, this is not it but if you have any dry skin combination skin or the weather is getting chillier and drier as it is in Korea this is definitely something you want to check out so I'm just gonna apply these on each side just to show you guys the comparison let me zoom you guys in. So first let me just apply the good old foundation first using the Kuwane must have uh, foundation brush number 7. Guys, this foundation is really really good especially if you're applying something a bit more liquidy, fluidy like this one. Like this. I think definitely if you use a foundation brush, it gives you a much more even application. Just going to take like a regular dry sponge and just tap that all in. So yeah, this definitely gives me more coverage. I feel like the cushion version is really really light. It barely has any coverage. Even though it's like the same formula, just because of the way we apply it or the way I apply it, it goes on differently on your skin. Look at that finish, right? It is so beautiful. So that's how the foundation works. Now I'm going to go in with the cushion. By the way guys, this puff, the puff in this cushion is so unbelievably soft. It honestly feels like a baby's bottom. So it feels like I'm just patting my face with a baby's bottom. That sounds really wrong, but I'm just saying it's that soft. So as you guys know, I have some pigmentations here. And so I'm just gonna try apply this all over. If you're someone who always has a busy morning, this is definitely a much more convenient way to apply. So as you guys can see, like you can still see a lot of hyperpigmentations. I mean, it's not bad. It doesn't have like zero coverage, but I'm just saying the foundation definitely gives you a bit more coverage. Just to summarize my first impression of this cushion, I mean, I do like it, but I just prefer the liquid version, like the liquid foundation much better. But of course, if you consider the convenience factor, of course the cushion wins. But just as for like the finish, oh my gosh. Look at that glow though, like seriously. <laughs> All right, next for the Sherry on top, I'm going to show you guys these two beautiful palettes. Ah, oh, me muero. I die, I die. These are so gorgeous. So first, I have the Dear Dahlia Timeless Bloom Collection palette. Inside is even more beautiful. Like, oh my gosh, look at this, look at this. So pretty. Look at that, right? It's very inefficient the way that it's very spacious. I mean, look at this huge ass space in the middle like they could have included like a highlighter in there or something but despite that uh, the color palette is just right up my alley it's beautiful and then we also have the beautiful Edward House play color eyes bake house oh by the way guys as much as I love Edward House what is up with their design <laughs> come on Edward House come on I know you can do better like Really? So just to give you guys a really brief first impression comparison in terms of the quality, efficiency, and convenience, this one wins, of course. The Edward House palette has so many easygoing colors that you can just pull off every day, but they also have a lot of, you know, sparkles, shimmers, 
and the pigment itself is pretty subtle I'm not saying that the pigmentation itself is bad but it's very just soft very velvety nothing like right up in your face so I feel like that's why a lot of people would enjoy this on a daily basis and of course it's super convenient super efficient in the way they designed it however if you are looking for something a bit more glam I do definitely recommend the Dear Dahlia one and I personally do reach out for this more just because the color palette is more of my preference and one more thing about these eyeshadows guys uh, they have so much more better payoff if you go in with your fingers especially the big shimmery glittery colors if you go in with the brush it doesn't give you that oomph that va va boom effect but if you do use your fingers you can get a pretty good pigmentation so this is definitely more of that aesthetic uh, not as efficient <laughs> palette that I actually personally really love so I I am indeed gonna use this palette today just because I feel like there's so many tutorials out there where people use this palette. First, I'm gonna take the shade Love Letter, which is right up my alley. It's a beautiful mauve, softish color. Oh, I'm sorry, let me zoom you guys in. Perdón, perdón. And also, I wanna add these, the Etude House shadows. They blend up way more nicely than the Dior Dahlia ones. Taking the same shade, I'm gonna apply some of my lower lash line. Oh, so gorgeous. Now I'm going to take this pink thunder color with my fingers. Like I said, I'm gonna pop that in the middle and you shall see the magic unveil itself. Ah. Okay, actually that wasn't as dramatic as I thought, but <laughs> if you look at it in real life, it's there, it's there, it's there guys, don't worry. Like it gives you a bit of glam, but it's not over the top. I'm gonna blend everything out. And then to add some depth, I'm gonna take this dark brownish maroon. What's palm in English? I'm gonna pop down the outer thirds. Give it some depth. I see, I see. Okay, so I just finished up the eye makeup and this is how the final look, look looks like. <laughs> like this. Before we move on to the lip products, which may I remind you, there's a lot. I want to show you guys this Edward has a lovely cookie blusher, but she is not happy. Like she is very, very sad right now. <laughs> it came like this in the mail. It all broken, shattered. But I just want to show you guys this color because it is so gorgeous. This is the ginger honey cookie. I think they already have this color. It's not a new color necessarily. I'm not too sure, but I just want to apply it on for you guys because it's so gorgeous. So I'm going to take my Real Techniques 400 brush, which is, by the way, a really, really good blush brush. <laughs> that was so hard for me to say. Did you guys see me like? <laughs> it is such a beautiful color. I don't know if you guys can see with all the sun. Right, it's kind of like that nice pinkish, very subtle color. I'm just gonna pile it on just so that you guys can see the color better. Like this. It's so pretty, right? Now for the lip products. Boy oh boy, there are so many lip products right now. You guys know it's fall when brands are just pouring out with new collections. So I have the Lily by Red. Uh, this is their Romantic Lion Mousse tint. They sent me their whole length, so thank you. And yesterday I went out and got Innisfree's Cotton, a Vivid Cotton Ink. I got four out of their five new colors just because number 16. I was like, no, there's no way I could pull that off. So it was too bright. It had too much whiteness to the color. And I knew it was a color that would just clash with my skin tone, even though I admit it would have made a very good base color. And then of course I went out and got the new 3CE Cloud Velvet, Cloud Lip Tint. And I, of course, got Pinkalicious. I only got one color because first of all, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the formula. And second, there were a lot of orange warm tones. And you guys know I'm more of that pink kind of gal. So I did just get this. So let me just swatch one of them one by one. You guys can check out and I'll give you guys a review. Out of the new Lily by Red, number three is of course my cup of tea. 
It is called Santalgi Cream in Cho. And as for the formula, it's just a mousse tint. It's nothing new to be honest. So I wasn't too taken away or amazed by the formula itself just because it was a little, you know, been there, done that. But the color was so beautiful. I was like, okay, I forgive you. And with this specifically, I do like using a lip brush. This is the Kuane once again. Oh, her brushes are really, really good. They're a bit pricey, but I totally think they're worth the buck. And it really does make a huge difference in how your lips look like. So especially with this applicator, I feel like this applicator picks up a lot of product, especially since it's new and all that. But aside from that, it just picks up a lot of product that I feel like if I put it on my lips directly, it's gonna look really thick and messy and that is not what we're going for here. So I am going to take this lip brush oh so beautiful oh my gosh it's so pretty <laughs> I'm so touched like I'm at awe at how beautiful this color is and of course this lip brush is a tremendous help. I honestly don't think I would have liked this lip product as much as I would have if I hadn't used this lip brush. Like, how can you not buy this? If you're not bought by now, like, I don't know what else will change your mind. Like, seriously, girl. Now, just because I did go in with a lip brush, it feels super comfortable, super light. But like I said, if you go directly in with this applicator, it's going to feel a bit heavy, a bit more smooshy. If you guys know what I mean. Is that even a word? And of course, it does transfer it's not a very matte matte type but it just feels very comfortable on the lips so that's that all right next up i have these beautiful lip products from Amy's free the vivid cotton ink these are the very few lip products that i actually like off of Amy's free <laughs> I mean, of course, I love all their skincare products, but their makeup products, not as much, not as much. But we're definitely getting there, and definitely these are obviously my top pick. And today, I'm going to be trying out number 19, Rosy Wood Coral. It doesn't carry as much volume as the mousse tint. The mousse tint, you could see that it kind of lathers, right? But this one is more of a flat-out liquid type. Oh. I think I just had an orange. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> So as you can see, this color does have more of a lighter touch to it, more of a corally touch. And also, I just want to mention with the formula, it doesn't settle as well as the Lily by Red Mousse Tints. These do transfer a bit on top of your lip. Did you guys ever experience when the lip product would move around? So it would just sit and emphasize your lip line, but like in the middle, it will be just blank. I feel like this does happen with this specific lip color, so you have to be very, very careful when you retouch it or apply it. Yeah, so this one also definitely transfers. I have the 3C Cloud Lip Tint. Now, this is all over Instagram, so I have very high expectations. And I did try it out last night, and I gotta say, this probably has the thinnest formula and the mattest out of these three. And I'm just gonna go in with the applicator because I feel like I'm able to control the amount enough with this. It's almost like a liquid lipstick, but way thinner and way lighter. Like it almost has that watery sensation to it. Have you guys noticed that all three colors are like really similar? <laughs> I just love these colors for now. It's very romantic, don't you think, guys? This one definitely has more of that matte finish. So as time goes by, it does dry up more. And just because it hasn't dried completely, it does transfer a bit, but I feel like once it's dry, it won't transfer as much. So there you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, guys, if you wanna see another video featuring the new other collections that I haven't covered, let me know in the comments down below and make sure to give this video a like. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next. Ciao.